everybody and welcome to the channel. This is Rain and Jenna. We are Sinister RP. Uh, today we actually have a special video for you guys. Uh, it's a little different here. We want to do our own top five because uh, we like to go and do a lot of urban exploring as a lot of you people know. For those who are new to the channel, thank you and hello. When we go out we don't always find the craziest stuff but sometimes when we do we do. Uh, there's times in edit where we don't even notice this stuff. Uh, and we have some of our viewers come and tell us. And it's it's quite shocking what, what we discover. Um, and if you are a believer in the paranormal, then you can definitely believe that when we go out and we bring our cameras with us. Uh, and we check out some of these creepy places that we capture some pretty creepy stuff. For sure. Yeah. And I know that some of you guys have missed some of the creepy stuff that we have captured. So until we bring out any more videos there, we want to show you guys our top five creepiest moments, at least our, at least what we think is our top five creepiest. So we're going to go and dive into the first one here, peeps. Okay. So this video rain had found an abandoned farmhouse with pretty much everything left inside. So you know us, we had to go and explore it. And what we heard there was unbelievable. Another abandoned house, I think. I don't know what the condition looks like, guys. I mean, it might be a lot of glass and stuff. And don't want to deal with that. Let's don't want to deal with angry neighbors either. So it's uh, there ain't no um, private property signs on here, so it's free to explore. But uh, just don't want the hassle, you know. So I think we'll come back maybe tonight. As you guys can kind of see here. What is your name? How many of you are there? Four. Can you tell us how you died? decision to go upstairs alone. Kind of crazy. And I was downstairs with King the entire time that Rain was up there. I'm going to make one alone here, guys. Up these uh, stairs.
was nothing. Okay. That was nothing. Okay. Let's have a got to be hands down the crazy CBP that we've ever captured and the spirit box wasn't even on as you guys know that we we use the necrophonic a lot uh, and it was not even running and she was downstairs the entire time with with King so I really had no idea what rain had heard upstairs until we were watching back to edit the video and what I heard the EVP without the spirit box absolutely blew my mind. Yeah, and as you guys saw a little bit in the footage that we provided, uh, we did do a spirit box session in there. Uh, we had some pretty crazy messages too, so that's definitely a video worth checking out. But it's not a house that we can go back to, unfortunately, because now there is a no trespassing sign. So. Me and Jenna, we lucked out That's for sure. <laughs> and got to explore it when we had the chance. So. so this next one has got to be the creepiest, weirdest thing, and it doesn't even look real. I'm in the Boyd Cemetery here. Take a cruise, actually. Yeah. Why not? Oh no, it's, it's a stone. Oh, that sounded like a kid. I heard suffering. I heard a little kid say, hey. Is there any messages you want to relay to us? Came from. You can't even show yourself to us right now, can you? <laughs> oh, that was a big moth right in front of the camera. Ernest, like I said. Ernest cannot even communicate with us. Ernest is, he was 13 days old. Wendigos and skinwalkers, if you guys have no idea what that stuff is, I would definitely go and, and do some research. It's some really scary stuff. And we live on native grounds. You wanna see how scared I am of you? Cause here I am. Here I am, Bob. Show yourself.
Show yourself. It could be a camera glare. And remember, people, we, we, we do understand this. You know what I mean? It is a very plausible thing. Um, so I'm not going to even write that possibility out because it is, if you look, and always back on that quality um, that we were bringing out, everything was a little bit more grainy. So if it is um, something to do with the camera, I mean, let us know. I mean, let us know what you think. You know what I mean? Uh, by all means, if we can debunk this, I would love to be able to. And if we can't, I mean, I'd love that even more. <laughs> <laughs> So this next one is actually so creepy that it actually got featured on the channel, Chills. Well, this is just a little clip of us backing out of the cemetery. We had already went and done the investigation and we're just backing out right now. There's, there's really good stuff in that video too, other than this, but we're just backing out and you can see on the side, this thing just poking out. I'm gonna play the clip for you guys because this is this is. And weird. at one point, it actually looks like it kind of hunches over and moves. Yeah. So watch for that. Too. Yeah, it kind of has this this movement to it. Yeah. yeah. Tell us what you guys think. So this next one, Rain and I had just finished doing an investigation at an abandoned community center. We were coming home and we happened to look and see this spooky looking house. And little did we know just how spooky it was going to be. Weird little crawl spaces. This part is where I had decided to take two photos simultaneously. And as you can see in one, there appears to be a face in the window. And in the next one, it's gone.
Again, you guys know what it is. Keep it spooky. This to me was one of the most craziest finds and I had not even noticed it until um, Nicole from the channel Through the Veil Paranormal. Shout out Nicole. Yeah, Nicole. <laughs> she had actually sent me a screenshot and said, who is this? I'm scratching my head thinking, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who that it is. It was just the two of us. <laughs> it was literally just the two of us there, but we got the most, and no pun intended, okay, pun intended, the most sinister vibes from that place. I think that should be called the sinister house, is how crazy it feels. So this final one is actually from our latest investigation. All right. So we don't actually know history to this place. Um, and maybe unless we run like a full sort of investigation inside, but we'll see. You gotta love that masonry work though, huh? Mm -hmm. Right there. That's beautiful. Yep, should be turned on there. And really quick. This creepy, oh my god, this place is so spooky, guys. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the kitchen in here, obviously, right? Walking to another spider web, but yeah, there's um, a gun case, which is like kind of weird, right? Kind of weird that it's a gun case. Uh, yeah, he's mason jars, something good. Again, another farmhouse where they left pretty much everything. And this is also where we found that disgusting freezer, if you guys remember. Mm. And if you haven't seen it, you should definitely go check out that video. The smell in there was so rancid. I, I don't even have a word to describe it. I don't. <laughs> well, you guys will literally hear me gag. Yeah. It was that bad. But this time, we ended up... Uh, Capturing something else, something really weird. Um, and we didn't even notice it until, I mean, literally the, the video was about to premiere on YouTube and I was scanning back through and I went, wait a second here, Jeno, Jeno. <laughs> and she's like, what? I had to show her and she couldn't believe it. Okay, with us. I don't know if it's just me shaking or. 
Pinkerton's auto supply. <laughs> I got like a stabbing feeling in my shoulder blade. Bangs. You heard a squeak, I was. No, I heard a bang. Hello? Um, now, of course, the uh, first thing that's running through my head is mm, that might be one of her shadows, but. And that's what's still been going through my head, but I don't know. You know, everybody else now is saying that's not, that's not your shadow. That has its own movement to it. And, and if you watch, I move and it stays still, and then it moves and disappears. Yeah, and, and I also noticed too that when it goes away, there's also this. This orb that flies by, and, and orbs are obviously up for debate for being dust particles and stuff, right? So uh, <clears throat> we won't even discuss that. But for hard physical evidence, I, I don't know. I can't explain it. So if you guys can possibly explain it, if you have any rational explanation, if you if you see any kind of possible way that maybe our shadows could have been casted on on the window at all, it. it Please let us know, and if you think that this is a real spirit being caught on camera, let us know too. You know what I mean? Because this to us has got to be our, our, to me, it's got to be our craziest evidence to date, and it's our most recent video too. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys enjoy this one, and uh, we'll be going back to this house too, but for a, a daytime visit, <laughs> yes. we're gonna go and check out the rest of the barn and everything. So if you guys haven't checked out the last two videos of uh, this. Creepy, creepy abandoned farm. Make sure you guys go check it out. Until next time. Keep, keep it, it spooky. spooky.